Yeah, it's a tough decision. It's something that I, I thought I would have kind of relief from after making and, and um, you know coming to a mutual decision with the club. But uh, I still feel kind of apprehensive and uptight whether I've made the right decision or not. But I think uh, everyone I speak to um, that's had a kid and had their first child and been there to experience it said how, how much of a wonderful time it is and, and you can't miss it for the world. So. Um, with a little bit of doubt in my mind as to uh, things going right or wrong, it, it's just a decision that I think I have to make and, and have to be here for my wife and, and support my family. It was hard, I think it just kind of developed um, through the process of Champions League, I think. Um, you know, once, once it was kind of confirmed that we were going, um, I just knew it was something that I'd have to do to, to say no and, and yeah, like I said, it's a, it's the first time in my life where I've, I've put anything or anyone above football and um, I think now's the time like no other to, to do that. It wasn't an easy decision to make, it was, it's tough, it's, it's hard leaving the boys, um, you know, I'm, a, I'm a, a team man, I, I love being around the boys and I love supporting the boys um, on and off the pitch so you know, it's going to be hard to miss out on, on some really good quality games but um, there's enough talent in the squad and enough leadership in the squad to, to, to do extremely well over there and um, I'm looking forward to supporting them from, from home. It's a family club, it's, it's number one on our values list at, uh, at Sydney FC and I think that the club and I working through this together it just shows the, uh, the, the, the family values we do hold here and um, you know I'm, I'm extremely grateful that we were able to come to that mutual decision and, and um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm able to help support my wife and, and future family. Caceres had his, um, his little girl Sophia a couple of weeks ago, well, not even a week ago now and um, that hit really close to home because she came at 36 weeks and um, if, if my little one was to come at 36 weeks then I'd miss it so um, you know it's, it's, it's a hard one to make but yeah, like you said we've, we've had a lot of children here at the club and um, you know it just continues to resonate the, the values of the club of being a family club and um, you know, I just can't wait to be, be a father I guess and, and hopefully everything goes smoothly and um, we have a happy and healthy child. You, know, you look back in in the history of football, I mean, players have missed World Cups and, and, and the like for, for family reasons. And I think, um, you know, the grand scheme of things, the, the, the Champions League, albeit a, a major part of our season, is, is still only a, a, a small part of our year. So I'll continue to work extremely hard and um, we've got the, the A-League season on our doorstep uh, very soon and, and I can't wait to be a part of that. So I'll, I'll continue to work hard at home. and and hopefully integrate it uh, well with the team once they get back. I can't wait to watch the boys and support the boys and uh, I think they're going to have a fantastic campaign over there and um, some of the stadiums and the, and the teams they're playing are, are, are fantastic events I think so yeah like I said I think it's going to be an amazing experience for them and, and one that I'm regretfully missing but I think missing for a good reason.